hey we're doing a panda express tier list today now i'm passionate about panda if you guys watch my fast food tier list you know i put panda in my s tier i love panda i always get it when i'm trying to have a good day right so i'm gonna have some strong opinions on this and we're gonna start off real wonky right off the bat white rice now tell me where do you guys think this should go well i know where it goes for me it's going straight to s tier i only get white rice at panda now before you uh start leaving a comment let me explain myself all right i feel like this needs an explanation right when i think of food at panda i'm thinking of the entrees i'm thinking of the orange chicken i'm trying to you know i'm trying to get the meat the sauces the flavor right if you get something like a chow mein or fried rice you end up getting that taste of the entree along with a bunch of grease or you know that like just that flavor of the side look i want to taste my orange chicken and what the white rice does is it doesn't add any flavor but it adds bulk right so you end up getting a mouthful of food with strong flavor from the entree but now if you stick a mouthful of orange chicken in your mouth and then put some chow mein all you're tasting is the oil from the chow mein along with some noodles some soggy noodles with your orange chicken so all of a sudden your bite is not even that good because half of it's filled with oil like so i have a strong opinion on this i am a you know white rice till i die type of person i think it it enhances the flavors of all the entrees and doesn't take the flavor away from them like the fried rice and chow mein does so i'm just gonna put that out there i think fried rice is or the white rice is slept on try it try it with your entrees it, it just it elevates the experience where you can get a mouthful of that true flavor and doesn't get diluted but saying that i guess we'll finish up with some of the sides um fried rice i just got done talking mad poop on it but i'm gonna put it at b still so if you're not gonna get white rice uh, because you don't you don't know what true food is supposed to taste like i'd rather get fried rice the fried rice is a solid b you know if i see you get fried rice and not gonna make funny i'd be like all right whatever he <laughs> you know he doesn't know but it's okay now chow mein on the other hand is going straight into f tier man chai chow mein is gross dude it's bad like i i might die before i get a little too a little too excited about this i chow mein's gross when i'm talking about the grease i'm mostly talking about the chow mein that's why fried rice is all right because it's got a little egg little peas you know little carrots in there it's good it's fine chow mein is gross get that get that away from me it smells gross tastes gross textures gross just get that out of my face now let's get up well i guess we can do some of the let's do the some of these okay chocolate cookie let's put it a tier man it's it's a cookie right what are you what are you gonna do you know i'm not gonna put a cookie at f tier i mean if they had some milk maybe it'd be an s tier for now a tier fortune cookies oh, i'll stick those at b tier they're delicious yeah it's a fortune cookie right mass produce it is what it is all right now here's where so eh, I, I can't really have a valuable opinion as far as the chicken egg roll and the spring rolls because I don't get them that often. Actually, I, I don't think I've ever had the chicken spring roll. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and put the chicken egg roll up at C because I feel like it'd be delicious. I'm actually going to put the spring roll over at D though because I have had the spring roll and I do not like it. So, yeah, I think that's a fair assumption on those. Now, we're getting to the, the real stuff here. This is where... Oh, actually, the Rangoons, too. I'm going to stick those at uh, D. I don't like those either, actually. I think they're kind of gross. A um, little, little too much crunch, a little too much uh, deep frying for... Yeah, not a whole lot of flavor. So, okay. Now, um, oh, I keep saying like we're getting out of the meats, but then I keep seeing things like the super greens i don't know man super greens see I mean, it's vegetables bro i don't know i just eat veg let's go to my backyard and grab a broccoli off the broccoli tree man i don't know all right here we go let's go ahead and get a classic right the original orange chicken it's obviously s tier right if you don't put it in s tier there's something wrong with you um has to be right like i i'm trying to think of someone in the world who would not put it at s tier can't think of one so that I, that's it doesn't i don't need to explain that right it's just uh i don't think anybody else has something like it orange chicken is a fairly unique taste um if you go to a panda where they kind of like make made it fresh and you kind of get lucky and get it fresh that's a nice crispy to it 
um it's a little warm it's just and once again amazing old white rice it enhances the flavor it's great i'll i use orange chicken is a 100 percent hit rate for me if i go there i'm getting orange chicken with something else i always get a I usually get a plate, but I sometimes get a bigger plate. But I'll, I'll talk about my full ordering maybe at the end. Let's go with, what do we got here? Broccoli, beef? Ah, let's go on. Yeah, let's stick that at C. The beef is good. The broccoli is not. Again, um, don't get this twisted, right? I love vegetables, and I actually specifically love broccoli. I love broccoli. The thing is, I just, why would I go to Panda for broccoli? If I'm going to Panda, spend, you know, 10 to $15, I'm not going to get broccoli, right? I can make broccoli at home. The reason I go to Panda is because I can't make orange chicken at home. So, I'm kind of biased as far as the broccoli goes. If I'm going to have broccoli, I'm just going to go to my local Meyer and grab a bag and, you know, douse it with a ranch and call it a day, you know? Okay. String bean chicken breast. Let's go ahead and stick that at uh, B. Yeah, because I actually really like string beans more than broccoli. Same kind of attitude applies. Or I, I literally had string beans for dinner like two days ago. I love string beans. I love vegetables. But I'm not going to go to Panda to get vegetables. I'm not paying $10 for something I can grab for like $2 from the grocery store, right? Um, Okay, where's my next? I'm looking for my next S. Here we go. Honey walnut shrimp. That, that goes in S tier. I will. I'm going to highly highly praise panda for their walnut shrimp they do shrimp very well and i don't know why because i tend to i can go to like diners or like well okay diner shrimp's never good i can go to like decent restaurants and not get good shrimp but somehow panda express fast food somehow makes really good shrimp along with that really good shrimp it's usually fried to a perfect amount and it's also got some really really great some of that sweet sauce on it i I don't, this is maybe my one mystery to me, my one Panda Express mystery. I don't know how they make their walnut shrimp so good. It's delicious. Um, I would even put it maybe above orange chicken, to be honest. So, I don't know, man. But I, I love the shrimp. Okay, what do we got next? Kung Pao chicken. I'm going to stick that over at eight tier. This is maybe the biggest anomaly for me, right? Because I hate spice. I am, you know, as Eastern European as you can get. I can't handle it. I, I like paprika, I like pepper, and I like salt, you know? Um, yeah, and banana. Okay, I like banana peppers. Literally, imagine a banana pepper. Anything above that, it's kind of out of my pay my pay grade, you know? I'll, I'll get some, like, red hot, too. But, um, yeah, so saying that, again, I should hate it. I really should hate the Kung Pao. Um, but something about it just kind of kind of hits me where I want it, you know? Get a little bit of spice, get some of those peanuts little bit of uh the chicken i just like it man it's it's like a love-hate relationship it hurts me but i hurt it back you know so i'll go ahead and put the kung pao chicken over at a um again we'll, i'll talk more about what i usually order later but um crispy almond chicken breast hmm yeah, let's put that at b uh, really a lot of these next ones i'm not gonna have much to talk about um mushroom chicken d um nah, i just don't mess with mushrooms yeah, mushrooms uh, are one of those things where i don't really like now i'm gonna like them if they're like sauteed real nicely you know cooked something you know a little fancy G give me some like good spiced up mushrooms but the way nah, panda does it is yeah get that out of my face honey sesame chicken breast oh, i'll put that at b really anything chicken's gonna probably be a b grilled teriyaki chicken b um is this what is it? What is it called again? Something something beef? Is that spicy beef? I don't know. I I know I I know what it is though, and I'm gonna stick a shit up at D. Um, I don't like it. What is a sweet chicken? Sweet is it sweet fire? Again, I've like seen all these. I don't really know their names all that well, which is weird considering I have such a strong passion for panda. I'm gonna stick that at C. Black ain't. Ooh, okay, I accidentally left absolute two bangers. For the last one so i'm gonna go ahead and do it black pepper chicken did you guys did you guys catch the foreshadowing earlier what do i like paprika pepper and salt what does this have in it black pepper straight to s tier although see for some reason my local panda doesn't have it ready that often 
which is slightly annoying. And then, okay, but lastly, Black Angus Steak, straight up at S tier. Accidentally left two up in S tier. So this is my list, and I will die on this hill. If you think something different in the comments, let me know. But more like, more like most likely, you're probably wrong. Um, unless you like spicy, in that case, you could probably do this and this. But um, your boy is not the spicy type. So, anyway, let me go ahead and explain myself. So, what does my order look like on an average day when I walk up in a panda? I usually get a plate, right? It's always gonna be white rice. I never get anything else other than I don't get anything else other than white rice. I used again. I used to get the fried rice and the chow mein, mostly the fried rice. I used to until I learned how wrong I really was about this dining experience. I always get white rice, and then obviously got the two entrees. 100% of the time I'll go for orange chicken, so orange chicken is going to be one of my entrees, and this is where it gets a little spicy. For my second entree, my number two go-to is going to be the black pepper chicken. So in an ideal world, I go to Panda, I get white rice, orange chicken, the black pepper chicken. But again, for some reason, my local Panda does not have black pepper chicken ready that often. I don't, I don't, maybe it's not the most popular, maybe it's, I'm the only one that likes it. Um, so then for the number two, I always go for either the shrimp, the Angus steak, or the Kung Pao chicken. If I'm feeling a little cheap that day, I'll go for the Kung Pao, so I don't have to pay that premium. But with the shrimp and the Angus steak, these are both premiums. Um, if I had to pick between the two, I'd go for shrimp. But in the weird days, which is more than often, where they don't have black pepper or walnut shrimp, and I'm really not feeling spiced, and I get the Angus steak. It's kind of how it goes. Um... There's not really any world where I get anything else different. Again, in my lifetime, I've had oopsies. I've had most of these, but now that I, I now that I've had everything and I know what I like, there's no really reason for me to get any of these anymore. So yeah, as far as my tier list, I could even reorder these towards like, you know, orange chicken is number one, then black pepper, then walnut shrimp, Angus steak. Maybe I could even bring down Angus steak maybe to an A here. Yeah, we can. You know what? Maybe we'll do that. The Kung Pao chicken with the cookie, fried rice, you know, we'll bring the fortune cookie to the back, the egg roll to the back. Yeah, this about sums it up. Um, so yeah, if you don't know Panda, this is what I would recommend. Get the white rice with basically a combination of these five. These are the five greatest in my opinion. These are alright, but maybe not my favorites. Um, and if... You know, you don't want to take my heavenly advice, my great advice, with my loads of experience, with my low, big load of experience in the dining experience at this panda. Get the fried rice. Don't get the chow mein. Again, the chow mein is a mouthful of grease. It's kind of gross, actually. I don't, I, I don't know what, how they're able to sell this. It's, it should be illegal, in my opinion. They should go to jail for at least two to four years for serving this. Uh, but for the fried rice is pretty good. I like the fried rice. Uh, but if you're going to get fried rice, you might have to switch up your order a little bit. Um, maybe you get something, I guess, with a milder taste, right? If you get fried rice, then that's when I would go for maybe the string bean chicken, maybe some broccoli beef. Um, yeah, so again, the fried rice goes with milder tastes. The white rice goes with things that have very, very strong tastes, like the orange chicken, the walnut shrimp. Um, you, you could even get the fried rice with the Angus steak. That might not be a bad decision here. Um, but yeah, and then to be honest, I don't recommend the sides. I think most of these sides, the, you know, the ragoons, the spring rolls, the egg rolls, I, I personally don't think they're worth it. Um, if you're into that type of thing, they're all right, but I'm just not. So anyway, guys, that is the tier list. Um, again, let me know what you think in the comments. Tell me what your preferences are. Um, I would love to hear them. Thanks for watching, guys.